of the whole video is to just let y'all know that it's okay to think outside the box with your brand and your marketing and like take things to a whole new level like don't just do the basics like do be creative like people want to see creativity people buy creativity like don't just be a basic brand especially with lashes because there are hundreds of lash companies and people selling lashes what makes your lashes different like Hey YouTube. Alright, so today, well not today, it's gonna be like a couple days. I'm going to show you guys behind the scenes of me producing a mini campaign for what is this card doing for my lashes like it was just something quick i thought of and i was like oh that would be a cute idea really it came about because i was supposed to restock my lashes and my vendor was out of my regular lash packaging and so i had to choose a new packaging if i wanted to restock at that time so i found some like it was like basic but it's cute packaging and I was like, ooh, I can do a whole little theme with it. So I'm gonna show y'all the theme when I get back to my apartment. Cause I did like a whole little, um, I planned everything out on this little PowerPoint or whatever. And right now I'm going to Five Below or a dollar store, just somewhere, maybe TJ Maxx and Marshalls to find like little stuff for pictures like props and stuff so that's what i'm doing now i'll show y'all when i get back it's a really cute idea so stay tuned all right y'all so i just left the store make sure y'all get some hand sanitizer five dollars on the site sunnybloom.com with one o and we sell masks too and we got different colors in these on my airplane. But, um, I need to do that again. So I left three stores. I went to Five Below, TJ Maxx, and Bed Bath & Beyond simply because they right here next to each other. But, I found, like, a few little props that I could use. I didn't really find what I wanted. But it's okay. You're not going to always find what you want. You got to make do with what you got. So I'll show y'all later. Cause it's hot and I'm gonna crank up this air and play my music and go home. Well, I, I gotta make one more stop. I'm gonna go to the real dollar store, like Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, cause Five Below, they was playing with the props. All right, so this is a theme I came up for the campaign. Um, basically, it's gonna be like ice cubes since the lashes look like ice cubes, I'm gonna call them lash cubes, right? So the main idea is that lash cubes are essential for keeping cool during the summer. So lash cubes equal ice cubes, and it's gonna be really cute. I have a cute little video idea in mind that I'm gonna show you guys. And like pictures and like the theme, all that stuff is gonna be like really cute. And it's creative. So this is how they would look with the gold paper and stuff. And that's just more pictures. So when I drop a new product or collection or whatever, I kind of plan everything out. And so I just planned out my Instagram promo. Um, I came up with like a teaser animated little clip that I posted so people can like get ready for the collection, share it, get hyped, just get their mind ready and their pockets ready. Um, and I'll insert a clip of that. Take it. And then for the restock alert, it's going to be a picture that I take with the props I got from the store. Um, I couldn't find a cooler, so I kind of got like an ice bucket. But yeah. And then when I officially drop it, I'm going to post three times a day. So the first would be a promo video on IGTV. And I posted it on YouTube too, so y'all go check that out. Um, 
The second picture would be a yellow background flyer, which on my Instagram, I try to keep everything nice and neat and coexistent. So I always make like yellow flyers. And so it'll be like a yellow flyer like that. And I'll insert a picture of that as well. And then the third post would be a picture from my product shoot, which y'all gonna see later in the video. But yeah. And then I kind of planned out my promo video. I, ideally, I wanted the promo video at a uh, um, pool, but <clears throat> with COVID-19 and everything, it was kind of hard to find a pool that would let me come with like a group of girls or whatever. So we went to a park and so I needed like three to four girls to help me bring my video to life. And then I just jotted down the concept and like I said, y'all can go watch the video on YouTube. It's really dope. It's only two minutes, so go check that out. And then and then I also like plan out my financials, but y'all don't really need to see all that. <laughs> so yeah. But I basically um write down like how much everything costed me, like everything, like the packaging, the lashes, the custom packaging, everything. The boxes I'm gonna use and everything and then I come up with the price and then boom I try to see how much I'm gonna make back and stuff like that just so you have an idea um yeah numbers are very important okay let me show y'all my regular lash packaging so this is my regular lash packaging that my vendor was out of so I couldn't get these because they were out of stock these are my favorite like they're just simple cute looks expensive um so i had to get these well i got these and i was like i saw a creative thing i could do with them so these are what i got very simple they're not done all the way the packaging isn't done because it's supposed to have like some gold paper at the bottom the lash names on them and the website but i'll show y'all how i do that later in the video but yeah, this is what they look like. Super cute. Why isn't this one closing? Oh, there we go. Okay, so my vendors, um, she sent me all the stuff I needed to finish my packaging. Because remember, I said she messed my stuff up. And she sent me these free lashes, so I put them on today. But she sent me like my website and Instagram on some transparent paper and like the gold paper that goes on the bottom. Really, I'm not supposed to be doing this. It was supposed to come already done, but she messed up so, and it's okay, she's human. We're all human. But this is how the packaging looks. Y'all can see. Then the website and Instagram are on the back and then the lash name. Let me open up this. Super cute. So I did a couple already. Let me show y'all. I only did a couple. I gotta finish these today. And I'm gonna try to do the promo video on Wednesday. Today's Monday. So yeah, I'm gonna go take a couple pics. Just so I can have something to post today. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all. Alright, so this is the ice bucket. And I just got the lashes in here. I'm going to go outside and take, like, some cute pics. Because it's real sunny and hot outside. And I feel like the light hitting. So, we're going to see how it looks. So, it's actually not that sunny out here. So, the pictures ain't really come out how I wanted them to. So, I'm going to try again tomorrow. But, oh, this sun kind of hitting right here. Let me try right here. Hold on. Alright, so right now I am taking some product pictures for the lashes. And I'm coming at an angle like this. And this is a studio box or a photo box or whatever you want to call it. And I think I got it from Amazon, but I need a new one because this one is kind of 
busted but these are like little fake ice that i've got just surrounding it so it can give off the ice effect and then yeah i'll insert a couple pics from this shoot all right y'all i just shot the promo video but i forgot to um record while i was out there like <laughs> i just forgot but i'm editing it now hold on let me show y'all so this is just a little i'm not done editing it because i'm gonna put music over it but these just some clips from us being out there i'm a uh, the other, the full video is gonna be on my YouTube, so y'all can look on there. But just keep talking. I'm gonna laugh. Okay. <laughs> These just little clips. So, yeah. And it was so hot, like it totally crossed my mind to even get video. So I forgot. But we were just out there. We went to this little park, and I told them to run down on how I wanted it. Well, like what they needed to do and say or whatever but yeah it came out good like it came out good all right y'all so this is the packaging for the lashes for like when people buy them and pick them up or when i send them out so i got this yellow crinkle paper i ordered some from amazon it just didn't come in yet so i got this yellow crinkle paper um from dollar tree and it was a dollar i just put it in here surrounded the box with it for one so it won't be all moving when it's traveling and then it's just really cute it just adds another little cute detail to it and they close up their little gift boxes and i think it's a three inch box i got the boxes from amazon but when they close i can do it one hand they just look like this so just real cute but then but when I mail them out, I'm gonna put them in these mailers. They're boxes. I don't know how to say that word. They're like congruent or whatever. And they're crush proof. So they're very heavy duty protective. And they close like that. And I'll like tape it down so it won't open. But I'm just gonna put the small white box inside this box. This is a four inch box. And these are three inch boxes. So, and I just put some more crinkle paper in there so it won't be all moving around and stuff with the lash in it so it's gonna come really cute to all my customers and it's gonna be like an instagram thing like when they get it they're gonna be like omg so that's another marketing strategy and they're gonna post in their story and i just put a little sticker on it because i didn't want to like get any like custom boxes or anything it's just really last minute but still cute i got these from amazon too so yeah all right, so the last thing I did was make sure my website went with my marketing campaign. So I just added like an ice background to it. I changed the name from Mink Lashes to Lash Cubes. And then I just added the pretty pictures and everything. And they're $12, so y'all go shop. But yeah, this is how everything looks.